So you want to host your own Minecraft server, but you don't exactly know where to start. Now, guys, in this video, I'm going to show you a free method and a paid method, and this guide has you covered completely. So let's start with the safest method, and in my opinion, that is to use a hosting service. You don't need to keep your computer on, and there's no risky IP sharing, plus the guarantee of 24-7 uptime. For me, I recommend Pine Hosting. You can get a server set up exactly like this straight away with instant setup, full mod support, and high performance. They're always online, and it's super simple. So here I am on the Pine Hosting site, and I'm just going to go ahead and configure my server as is. So we're just going to select some RAM here. We're just going to add a location change. I'm just going to select something random like Germany. And we're just going to go ahead and click continue here. And as you guys can see, it's super cheap. I didn't even apply my promo code yet. And that's going to bring you into the panel where you can go ahead and spec out your server. Basically, you just log into your panel like so, and you can copy the IP address. Head back into Minecraft under multiplayer, add your server, paste in that IP address, and as you can see, you are ready to go. All right, so you might be thinking, well, what if I wanted to host the server for free? I'm gonna show you now how to set up a manual server. So first thing you wanna do is head into your browser and just search Minecraft server download. And we're gonna go ahead and click the top search result here and just download the Minecraft server jar. We're gonna save that into our downloads folder and make sure you put it in a folder as it's gonna create more folders and we don't wanna flood our desktop for whatever reason. So as soon as that's successfully downloaded, head into your file explorer and just double click the file. You will need to have Java installed. If you get an error thrown at you, you might have the wrong version of Java, but just leave me a comment down below. Now you'll see that everything's here is done and it's generated the Eula file. So we just open this one up and then change this to true. Save that. Perfect. That has hosted and set up our server. So we're going to just open this server jar again. And that's going to go ahead and build our world and we should eventually see another tab pop up just like this. As you guys can see it's preparing the spawn area and everything has been loaded. That's it. Seriously, just like that you guys have generated and built your own Minecraft server. So just to test it, we're going to head into Minecraft now. Guys, if you do want to play with friends, you will need to use a third party tunneling tool. Now 1.21.5. We're going to sign on into Minecraft and yeah, either way guys, setting up a server yourself is extra setup and that's why most people just opt for Pine Hosting to save a lot of the hassle. I'm going to touch on that again at the end of the video. Just replace whatever is in here and just put in local host. Whoops. Just one word and what that's going to do is connect you to your server that you've just set up. As you guys can see, I've connected to the server that is running locally on my machine. Now, as I said, you can invite your friends to play, but it's going to be a little bit hard to set up port forwarding, and it really does depend on which router you have. And guys, that's the end of the video, and that was how to set up hosting for a Minecraft server, my 2025 guide. As I said earlier, guys, I really do recommend Pine Hosting. You guys can get 30% off with code DUPA, so check it out with my link in the description or the pinned comment. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this guide. And please let me know down in the comments if you have any issues. It's been your boy UQC. Thank you so much.